everyone and welcome back to a brand new vlog <laughs> so today is one of my day offs Whoop. and martin has the morning off um but then he is working in the evening so he's off at the moment <laughs> and one of the big things that's happening today i want to get my hair cut this mop is getting chopped. <laughs> uh, Martin's going for a haircut and we can't actually remember the last time. When was the last time you had a haircut? End of the last lockdown, I think. So that was November? But it has never been this long. <laughs> You're very excited to get it chopped, aren't you? There I am. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're just having a chill day today. I've got a few little bits and bobs that I need to do. I've actually wrote on my phone a to-do list this morning and it was really long <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'm going to get everything done um, but I just have a few bits and bobs so I thought I'd vlog today and bring you along. So let's start the day with a cup of tea. Do you want a normal one? Yes please. We're actually waiting for someone to come and fix something in our flat so we're kind of having to stay indoors till um, they come round but then um, I am gonna head out but we are not entirely sure what time they are gonna arrive so <laughs> for now we just have to hang tight so I'm gonna make a cup of tea and see if there's anything I can get done on my to-do list um, just in the house so I've just made us a little cup of tea and I actually have a couple of parcels um, from our P.O. box. Let me just put it down. Yeah, we have a couple of parcels from our P.O. box to open. I think the first one is actually something I got from Amazon. What should be mine? It is. What be mine? It, it was just in a weird um, package for what it is. I can't like see. Like the shape. <laughs> um, basically, it's just... Um, a couple of wig caps I need for work some fishnet ones and then I definitely think I know what this is uh, this is from Sophie and she contacted me on Instagram um, because she had a lot of Thomas Kincaid I just need the scissors just package it, packaged it up very well <laughs> um, she had some Thomas Kincaid artwork that she didn't want to go to waste um, so she says she would send it to our fear box, which is so lovely. Oh my gosh, there's loads! <laughs> <laughs> we are actually thinking we're going to try and make a little display in the bedroom because we love Thomas Kincaid oh, artwork. Yes, they're nice. Um, I'll go through and I'll... It's actually <laughs> from her calendar. So our jigsaw is Thomas Kincaid, isn't it? Oh my gosh! Just ignored the jigsaw comment there because you just don't want to deal with it. Do you? No. <laughs> oh, she sent us some drumsticks. We love drumsticks. Oh wow! Oh thanks. Thanks, thanks Sophie. So much. And oh, What's there's that? pins in here. Oh, you didn't have to send oh, these. No. Oh, how cute! It's like a zoom zoom. It's a, a sum sum. Light. Sorry, just flashed. Um, it's a goofy. It's a some some goofy pin, and then the other one is a Winnie the Pooh pin. That is so sweet. We will definitely be adding those oh, to our. Oh, um, this could get dangerous. These are our first ever proper Disney pins. These are our first ever official Disney <laughs> trading pins. Uh, but we'll definitely be adding them to our land. I was about to say landlord because I'm thinking about the flat. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Definitely be adding them to our lanyard. We'll pay them in Disney pins. <laughs> oh, but thank you, Sophie. That's lovely. And there is a little uh, letter as well. So we will read that now. That's lovely, that card. Yeah, we've just read um, your card, Sophie. It was so lovely. And how cute is it? Thanks very, very much. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> uh, but it honestly means so much to us. We put them up, don't we? Put them up around yeah. the Yeah. <laughs> Um, and thank you for the extra treats. I'm just going to have a little look at the artwork as well. Show you some of my favourites. There are so many. I like this size. Mm. And I think I'm going to try and get some frames. And maybe I could have even four in a frame or something. Yeah. And we can sort out. Could alternate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how cute is that one? 
That's <laughs> like uh, Sound of Music. Yeah. <laughs> the hills are alive. <laughs> With Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's so many cute ones. Oh, oh that's, that's cool. epic. Oh. Mother knows best. <laughs> The Thomas Kincaid artwork is just beautiful. Oh, I love that one. Oh, there's so many that I love. <gasps> oh, look. How Holiday. cute. It's like they've gone to Alani. Yeah. It's like they've gone to uh, Hawaii. <laughs> oh my gosh, there are so many. The Chinese theatre. Oh, it is. That's really good because that reminds me so much of uh, Hollywood Studios. Oh, look, we've got a big one of the Tangled. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love them. Thank you so much. I'm going to have fun creating a little uh, display. But yeah, thank you so much for sending them, Sophie. Nom, 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 <laughs> We can enjoy our drumstick before tea. <laughs> so we've just had the repair man over. Um, so that was good. It didn't take too long. Um, but I've just laid out all of the Mickey and Minnie artwork from um, the lovely parcel from Sophie. And I just want to show you them all because they're so cute. So here are all the Mickey and Minnie ones. I just love them. It looks like a little scrapbook of all their holidays. <laughs> I think it's so cute. I love this one. Minnie shopping and Mickey's just waiting for her hair. <laughs> Aww. So Martin has just headed into town to get his hair cut, which is so exciting. I'm really excited to see him with his hair cut. He's going to look so different. And then I'm going to meet him later and we're going to go to Moss Bros, I think it's called. Um, it's like a suit shop and we're just going to have a little browse, a little look. We've looked online, um, but it will be nice to see the suits in real life. And then we've booked an appointment for next weekend um, where we have like a special appointment and someone can help us and I think he can try on more of the suits and yeah but we thought we'd go in initially just to have a little look around and kind of get an idea of what suits they have um, so that's really exciting. I don't know this person. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Hey hey. <laughs> look at him. Very happy. Yeah, it's so handsome. They always do a nice cut. I like it. Go on, do a little spin. La 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 la. <laughs> Everyone, everyone's had their hair cut the same day. I've, had, looks I've so had a message nice. from uh, my friend Bobby. He's, he, <laughs> he said, Oh, I saw your Instagram. I'm actually in the barbers at the moment. And then Dave, Sophie and Dave, he's had his hair cut today. It's the day to get your hair cut, but it looks so nice. You happy? Yes. You feel like you again? I've actually booked in to get my hair cut in a week, a week's time, I believe. And I'm very excited as well. Um, it's actually grown quite a lot, so I'm gonna get it quite a lot chopped off so that um, it looks thicker. But it's so sunny today, it's so nice. We very quickly nipped into Moss Brothers as well. Apologies, I um, didn't have time to pick up the camera, um, but we just nipped in and there was a really helpful guy working there and he showed us all of the suits and uh, kind of gave us a little bit of an idea. Um, showed Martin some of the waistcoats, some of them are so jazzy. <laughs> uh, but it's really exciting and it, it really made us excited. Um, for the wedding so yeah that was really helpful but we are going to book in a proper appointment where we will have more time uh for martin to try on all the suits so we'll definitely keep you updated with that but we you feel a little bit happier now yeah like we're on track to get some really nice suits uh sounds like it could be a good deal as well yeah definitely we didn't actually we should have asked if there was any like discount for how many suits you do. Oh yeah, we'll ask that when we go for our other appointment. But Martin is rushing around because he's just about to start working from home. We've actually had quite a busy morning in the end. So he's a bit rushed off his feet, but he's gonna start work now. I'm gonna do, actually, I think I might head to the shops um, because I do have some things I need to pick up before tomorrow. Oh no, the battery's flashing. <laughs> have to put this one on charge as well. Oh, <laughs> uh, but I will catch up with you in a moment. 
Also, we were just chatting then about Martin's hair, and then we realised um, that the vlogs are going to be a little bit muddled this week. <laughs> so today's vlog was filmed after the vlog that's going to go out on Sunday, but the vlog on Sunday um, has a sponsored part to the vlog, so we can't put it out until Sunday because it needs to get approved by the brand we're working with. Um, <laughs> but it's going to be a little bit obvious because Martin's hair is obviously <laughs> going to be really long, so yeah. don't don't worry, Martin's hair doesn't grow that quickly. <laughs> So I've just got back from the shops. I don't know why I keep filming on this spot. <laughs> I keep filming on the floor in the exact same spot. <laughs> um, but it's such a nice day out. I tried to do a little bit of a montage, um, show you a few sights, but um, then the camera died. <laughs> um, so I had to leave it, but it was a really, really nice day. And I nipped mostly to Boots and Superdrug because I just needed some toiletries. But in Superdrug, if my eyebrows look a little bit red, it's because I got them threaded there. And she did a really, really good job. Obviously, they're a little bit red at the moment. Um, but I'm really happy with them. I haven't had them threaded in, well, since last year. So it was really nice just to get them done. They're a really nice shape. And yeah, I'm really happy with them. So yeah, I got them threaded and then I picked up a few toiletries so I thought I'd do a little haul. I'll start with the most exciting. <laughs> so this is La Roche, La Roche Posay, I think I'm saying that right, 50 plus hydrating cream. And this is PA, then four um, crosses, UVB and UVA and antioxidant, very high protection. Apparently, this is one of the best sun creams, and I've um, got it to wear on my face, so it's just a little, a little tube. Um, but yeah, basically, because I work outside, I work in the sun, and especially at the moment, the sun is so bright, and it's like all day, really, really sunny. Um, so I thought it was best that I got a really good 50 plus hydrating um, sun lotion for my face. So I can put this on as a base layer and then put my makeup over it. But yeah, I apparently heard that, that La Roche Posay is the best one. Um, so I treated myself to this and I will just use it all summer. Apparently the Garnier one is really good um, as well and it's cheaper than this one, but it was all sold out so everyone was thinking what I was thinking because I went to get the Garnier one and it was it was all all sold out so I went for this one instead. I also picked up, oh these are for Martin, he wanted me to pick up some deodorant right guard and some Gillette shaving uh, foam so I picked them up for him, hopefully they're the right ones. <laughs> I then picked up just some Sultan, Sultan? um sun cream so this is just a 30 and this is just a body one so i'm just going to use this on my body um during summer 
and I'll probably start now because it's so sunny. Uh, this was really reasonable as well. I think it was four pounds. I then picked up some shower gel um, because I really needed some new um, stuff to use in the shower. I went for this simple, kind to skin, nourishing shower cream because at the moment I'm getting really dry skin in certain patches. So I really wanted to get like a really moisturizing shower cream and simple are always good because they use no soap, no harsh chemicals, no artificial perfume, and no animal derived ingredients. So if you have sensitive skin, um, they're like one of the sensitive skin experts apparently. So I thought I would give this a go just so I don't irritate my skin anymore. And then for a moisturizer, I picked up this Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Lotion. So this nourishes normal to dry skin, and it's clinically proven to moisturize for 24 hours and it's suitable for sensitive skin and it's unscented. And um, so I've heard that Aveeno is really good for sensitive dry skin. So I'm gonna give this a go as well. I then picked up this Dove Caring Bath. Um, I really love to use this as bubble bath. Um, so you just pour it into your bath and it creates bubbles. And yeah, I just love it. It's a really, again, kind to your skin bubble bath. Uh, Martin really loves the Radox ones. And I do like them, um, but they're a lot more harsh, I would say. Um, so I wanted to pick up this Dove one. And we're getting there, we're getting there. Two more things. Um, I then picked up this Mitchum Invisible White Mark deodorant. And every day I use native deodorant, uh, which I really, really love. Um, but it's like a roll on. So I wanted a spray just to bring to work with me um, because it's just easier during the day. If it's like a particularly sweaty day um, with dancing and doing the shows. Um, I just wanted one which was easy to whip out and this is the Gnome White Marks one 48 hour protection. So this is just a little bit stronger if I need a stronger deodorant that day. Oh no, I lied. Now it's two more. So this is the Revolution Duo Brow Definer. Brow. <laughs> Don't know why I said it like that. I really like Revolution as a brand. I really love their eyeshadow palettes. I was using the NYX eyebrow pencil, but my friend Claire said that this was a really good dupe of that, and it's like half the price of the NYX one. So I thought I would give it a go. So I got it in medium brown. I kind of just guessed. Um, and then, oh, it's so similar to the NYX one. So it's basically a tube and then on one side you have the circular brush and then on the other side you have the pencil and it's just a soft pencil uh, but this is like pretty much exactly like the NYX one and um, so yeah so far it looks like a really good dupe. And then last but not least um, I just picked up simple again I just picked up their eye makeup remover. I'm wearing a lot of eye makeup at work and we wear uh, lashes and everything so it's just nice to have a proper eye makeup remover um, that you can wipe across and make sure you get everything off. So yep, yeah, I just picked up this one. It also removes waterproof mascara but I thought it would also be kind to my skin as well because it's simple. And that is my mini boots and super drug haul. <laughs> it was just really nice to um, just have a wander around the shops as well, uh, particularly because it was such a nice day. But I'm just gonna enjoy, I made a little lemon and honey um, hot water when I got in. So I'm just gonna enjoy that, maybe watch a little bit of YouTube. And then I'm gonna have a little look at my to-do list because it's getting on late in the day now. Um, so I just need to make sure that I've got everything done um, for another week at work.
it's a lot later now. I've had a relaxing evening. I had a lovely bath and I used my new Dove bubble bath and my new moisturiser and I've just been watching some Google Box. It is my favourite show to just put on in the background. It makes me laugh and yeah, I just find it really cozy. But I need to finish editing this vlog um, because it is going up quite soon and then I'm gonna get to bed so I'm gonna end this vlog here thank you so so much for watching hope you enjoyed we will see you on Thursday for our next reacting to our Walt Disney World series vlog and then we will have another vlog on Sunday as well bye everyone